you guys, so Madison and Sadie came over. Sorry, the lighting is like horrible. I'm trying to block it. They're coming shopping with me because I still have a lot of things, like little things that we've noticed that we need from Ikea. So I have like a list. Well, Ikea and Walmart I think we're going to stop at just because Walmart has a, like some towels that I want to get because I saw like the bath towels here and they weren't really like that soft. So I was like, I'll just go to Walmart for those. But I literally have a whole list of stuff that we realized that we needed. Like yesterday I was making pasta and I realized that we didn't have a, col a colon colander. A colander. Or a sifter. And so I had to like put the lid and like, you know, do that, which was fine. But I realized we didn't have one. We need like a compost bin, more hangers. I really want to get like a handheld vacuum, uh, shoe rack, baking sheets, more cutlery, more glasses, drain covers. There's just so mm. much shit to get. Okay, so we went to Walmart and Ikea. So I'm gonna give you guys a bit of a haul. Sadie and Madison are still here. They said they're gonna help organize a bit. So that's gonna be nice because there's literally still so much shit to do and I just bought more stuff. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an overview haul. So I got this baking sheet set from Walmart. It was only like $30, so it was a really good deal and I've been looking for baking sheets. Um, so I got that. And then I got another set at Ikea of the cutlery because there just wasn't enough. And then I got these like little jars. They're not actually little, they're actually a really good size. I got pink bowls because I was just like in love with the pink, but obviously I didn't want to do all pink dishes. But since we don't have any bowls similar to this, I'm like, why don't I just get these in pink? Because they just came in a little set. So I got pink little bowls, which are so cute. And then I got like this dish set. This is like for baking lasagna or, you know, casseroles, like brownies, stuff like that. So this is like glass and it's black glass, which is sick because I could have gotten clear, but you know, we're sticking to the all black theme. And then I got this kind of like this, kind of reminds me of like a wok. It's not like actually a wok, but it will be perfect for making stir fries and it would make it super easy. So I got that at Ikea as well. And then I also just got this step stool because I'm literally so short. And like I was saying before, I literally can't reach up in the cabinet. So this is going to be perfect. And it's black. Um, I also got more cups because I wanted more glasses. I got a bit of a different style just to switch it up. And I thought that these were so cute. I got some bath mats. And I got this scrubber thing for dishes or just like to wash like the sink or whatever. And then I got this for cooking. And I really want to get a utensil holder for like this type of stuff for the kitchen. I'm on the hunt for a really nice one. And then I got this organizer for my cutlery finally. Yeah. And then I got shoe racks. I'll put this up with you guys later to show you. Um, and then I got a, what, does it fit? It doesn't fit? It's too long. Shut up. Oh. No. Like, I had such high hopes for that. Wait, how does that not fit? I could cut it. Oh my god, that's really okay, disappointing. That's disappointing. It's okay. Return pile. Return. I'll get the shorter one because I did yeah. have a smaller one. Should have measured, but whatever. Um, I also got a hand vacuum just to have for now until we get a real one. And then I got little bowls, you know, little for like sauces and stuff. And then, so these are the lids for this. And I got three of these i think just to put like pasta rice flour like random stuff like that just to have like aesthetically in the pantry and then i got some cute mugs i really just like the, the beige color and then i got some dishcloths right here i think i got like three of these and then i got a stainless steel bowl and then i got this long one for pasta like the long pasta things whatever they're called spaghetti and then i got this compost bin i got some towels we're sticking to the all black this is just a dish towel and then some body and face towels and i got this for the hair in the drains and then i got some oven mitts finally and yeah i think that's everything we got today but it was pretty productive i got like a lot done i still want to go on in like another grocery shop because i still need to get like a few things that I'm realizing that I want like chocolate and like random stuff like that. I also need to get like flour and stuff. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. We'll see. But I just kind of want to get this stuff put away first. But the kitchen is coming together.
And then I literally just can't wait until the couch comes because that'll just really complete everything with the TV. Okay, moment of truth. We are going to see if these shoe racks that I bought today fit the closet. Because the closet is tiny. Oh my god, it might not fit. The closet is tiny and we thought that we measured it out properly, but we aren't like 100% sure if these are going to fit. Now looking at it, it does look kind of big. So this is a moment of truth. I mean, if it doesn't fit, it's not a huge deal. Yeah, it's definitely too big. Like this closet is so tiny. Like it's literally so small. So I don't think it's going to fit. Oh my god. It literally just fits. Holy shit. Do you guys see how it literally just fits? I'm actually shocked right now. Joel, it just fit. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited now. That's perfect. I bought three because you just stack them. And then, yeah, since there's so much space here, I'm like, we gotta put shoe racks or else we're kind of just wasting the space. So this is literally perfect. I'm so happy that this literally just fits. Oh my gosh, and there's... These were literally like five dollars each um, per row, so that's not even bad. It's like fifteen bucks for the whole thing. I'm literally so happy. This looks so good. It literally is so sleek, and now we have shoe racks. Wow, I'm so ecstatic they fit because literally every single. Um, shoe rack that I saw other than this one was so much longer and I'm like that's not gonna fit this tiny closet But this like it was meant to be it was literally meant to be size laundry machines are like huge which i love obviously i just thought that i'd do a load quickly for towels since i just bought them and i want to wash them before i use them because they were just like out in the store you know so that's what we're gonna do i feel like washing machines are pretty self-explanatory so hopefully i don't break anything it's actually crazy that like we're using everything in this apartment for the first time like no one's ever lived here before free and gentle for sensitive skin no dyes no perfumes so i just wanted to get something more natural because me and joel both have sensitive skin okay we're gonna turn around and we started her that's so exciting first time using washing these washing machines and i feel like you can literally just close this and then that's it your laundry's being done i think that's so sick i don't know why i find that so sick i know one thing that we really like we're looking for as well when we were looking was we did not want to have laundry like we wanted to have laundry in the building we did not want to have like uh have to bring our clothing outside of the apartment to wash it that was like one big thing it was like we need laundry inside because it's just so convenient and so nice to have so very blessed that this apartment literally came with everything that we wanted couldn't be more thankful so everything is slowly coming together like if you see the update here we actually cleared out a lot of shit tomorrow we're gonna go to the recycling room so we're planning on bringing the recycling this is like literally all recycling in this garbage bag right here um we're gonna bring it to the recycling room tomorrow and then other than that we basically just have a couple more shit like kitchen stuff to put away and then this is joel's desk chair that he still is waiting on the desk to restock 
um, but we should obviously just put it in the office, but we have just been using this as a comfy, comfortable place to sit. Um, we got like a couple random miscellaneous things. Still a couple boxes to go through. We're probably gonna finish this tomorrow. Um, and this is just some of Joel's stuff and like Xbox that we're waiting for the TV console to put in, which is gonna go right here. And my Christmas tree that I'm gonna bring to the storage locker tomorrow. So honestly, by tomorrow, most of this shit should be cleared. But yeah, so I think I'm gonna go back to my house tomorrow because I need to pick up a couple of things still. I was gonna go today, but then Sadie and Madison left kind of late. So I was just like, eh, I'll just go tomorrow. So I'm probably gonna go in the morning, pick up my night table so I can put some more stuff away. And I just have a couple more things to grab as well. So yeah, it's all coming together slowly. It feels nice to like get things put away and like garbage out of the way. It feels so good. But yeah, I'm really enjoying the process and I love like having everything like clean. Like I get to clean everything. Like it just feels so good to have your own space. Like I'm already really enjoying it. But yeah, so I'm gonna get ready for bed now and then I'm gonna go on Amazon and just try to find a couple little things that we still need that I haven't found in stores. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just got to my house. Um, and I'm just here to pick up some things because I still need to get like the night table like I was saying before You get like the night table and just like I still have like shit in the closet because it's like memorabilia stuff that like I'm gonna ask my mom if I can just keep here because Like yeah in my heart. It's always still gonna be my room You know like even when I'm like 30 40 50 years old like I still want that to be my room So like keeping memorabilia stuff of me is like don't you want that piece of me in your house? Like do you know what I mean? Like if I had a kid and they moved out, I would want to keep their memorabilia baby stuff in my house so that, like, I can keep it in their room so that, like, I'll always have that in their room. Like, that's such, like, a cute memory, you know? Um, so I'm hoping my mom lets me keep that in my room um, because the closet is really big and there's, like, lots of space so it doesn't, like, I don't think it will affect anything. And plus, no one is using my room. So it's completely empty, so I can't see why not. So, yeah, I'm just here to pick up some things. It's currently 11 o'clock. I'm so excited to see my cat and my dog. My dog had like a vet appointment this morning and they had to seduce him. So I don't know if he's back yet. I really hope he is, but I'm gonna wait to see him for when he comes back. And oh, I'm gonna cuddle Hershey. I'm so excited to see them. That's the one thing is like, I literally like miss my baby so much. Like my beans, like I miss my animals. I'm so attached to them. It's like, I know like I, they're not like, I'm like, this is always gonna be my home. You know, this is, always always like even when i'm 50 this is gonna be my home um like the apartment is my home as well but this is always gonna be like my home you know i don't know how to describe it but like i will never like detach myself from this place like, this is my home with my animals and my family that i love so yeah and i'm all and i'm also gonna like come and visit often like i'm a very family oriented person where like i love my family and i love to be home you know so Definitely, I'm still going to visit often, um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go inside, and I don't even know how long I'm going to be here for. I'm just probably going to chill for a bit, and then start getting my stuff in, but it's raining right now a little bit, so I'm just going to wait until that maybe, hopefully, like, goes away, and then it'll be better to move things so that I'm not getting wet, but yeah. Okay, you guys, I just got back to the apartment. Oh my god, it's so ugly in here. I brought my night table, and then I got my clothing rack that I disassembled here. And then I also just brought a few bags here that I need to take up. Also, I literally just got a car wash. How is it so dirty? Um, but yeah, I'm trying to call Joel down to help me bring this, but there's no service down here. So I'm just gonna go up and then tell him to come back to get it. You guys, I just got a delivery. This is from La Fraise. It's French, I think. Um, Rose. And they're actually a local Vancouver company. And they reached out to me and asked me if I wanted a floral little arrangement. And I was like, why not? I just moved. So this is literally perfect for a nice housewarming gift. 
Um, and I also do love supporting local companies. How cute is this? Like black and pink, are you kidding me? This wrapping paper is so cute. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. I need to take a photo of this and do an Instagram story. Oh my God, thank you guys so much. Like I really appreciate that. That is adorable. Oh, they even wrote me a little card. Thank you, that is so sweet. So yeah, these are preserved and dried flowers. Yeah, that's so cool. I'll have their Instagram right here and I'll have their website linked down below as well if you guys wanna support them. That is so cute. <laughs> So it is currently 10 20 and i've been waking up earlier lately like my body is naturally waking up early i've been waking up at like this morning i naturally woke up at 7 30 and like i wasn't even tired after that and then the other morning before that i was waking up at like 8 30 and normally like if i don't set an alarm my body wakes up like later like more towards like 9 30 but i've been waking up early without having my alarm wake me up which is really rare for me, but I've also been going to bed earlier. Um, I've been going to bed at like 11, which is like very early for me because I usually will go to bed more towards 12. Um, last night, I think I went to bed at literally 10.57, which is so crazy. But anyways, it's kind of nice because then like I get to wake up earlier in the morning and like naturally, like I don't feel tired when I wake up. Like it's, I really like it. So I hope that this continues. Um, as long as I keep going to bed early, I feel like it will. But I just finishing my iced coffee i just got ready for the day i just put on a tank top and then sweatpants just keeping it chill because i'm just gonna be unpacking a couple things we've honestly been doing really well we're almost done so that's good i honestly like really like this ledge here honestly i have no idea what the ledge is technically meant for like it's really random if you guys know what this is meant for let me know because i have no idea but what i've been putting on here is when I get ready and do my makeup, I'll just have like my phone like that and like I'm watching Netflix, so it's kind of perfect for that. And then I've just been leaving like a clip here with my rings, um, but I don't wanna make it obviously too cluttered, just like this is usually not on there on my phone. I usually just have this on here and then I put my rings on in the morning. So I suddenly put my rings on, but yeah, I don't know what to use this ledge for other than like that. Like I don't know what it's technically built for. So if you guys know, let me know, cause I have no idea. But anyways, I just put, um, I washed these towels the other day and I just put them on for the hand towels. I got black and then I got a black um, shower mat at Ikea and then black towels as well because we're sticking to the black theme. And I need to wash my makeup brushes because I don't want to put them away until they're washed because they're very dirty. And since like we're in a new place, I just want to get like a clean start. So I think I'm going to wash those today. And then let me show you guys the progress that we got going on here. So as you can see, we pretty much almost did everything. Joel's feeling a lot better. So he got all his clothes put in his closet. Um, and then now we just have random things. I got a hand vacuum. I know I showed you guys, but it's so handy because I shed a lot of hair. So I've been using this every day just to like do a little vacuum and it's so nice. Um, so I've been using that. I need to return that at Ikea and then... That's just a couple random things. And then these are my boxes in the corner that I still need to unload today. I think I'm going to do that. And then I need to put together my clothing rack because I brought this from home yesterday. Everything is slowly coming together, which is nice. I honestly haven't like meditated or done yoga in since we moved in here. Just because I feel like I'm not in like the mental space to do it because everything is messy. <laughs> so once I get everything sorted and everything is clean, then I, I need to get back on my meditation and yoga game because it makes me feel so good but right now i've just been in a whole different mindset like i just need to clean clean organize organize like i've literally been waking up eating and then like getting at it and like also editing too to get these videos up so i'm gonna busy busy bee but yeah i think maybe right now what i'll do is i think i'm gonna unpack this the dish the baking set that i got wash everything and then find a home for it so i think i'll start with that this morning Okay, so this is the exact thing that I got. It was from Walmart. I think I already explained this. It was like $30 and it comes with everything. So I was like, this is perfect. I haven't like the baking sheets at Ikea were like half the size of normal baking sheets and they didn't have regular size ones. So I was like, that's not going to work. Like they were so small. I don't know why, but they were not a regular size. 
Um, anyways, I also still need to get a pair of scissors because I've been using a knife to literally do everything, <laughs> which is fine, but definitely need to get scissors next. I think I'm gonna be grocery shopping today because I was thinking about making tacos for dinner because Madison sent me a photo of her eating tacos the other day. And ever since she sent that, it looked so good. And it's making me want tacos. Like I've just been craving tacos. So I think I'm gonna do that, but I need to go grocery shopping. Okay. Oh wow, this just literally comes out as one piece. I think I got a comment on my one of my last videos asking me why I'm like washing things if they're brand new. And the reason why is because taking things out of um, the packaging, it just feels better to wash it just to know that it's clean and like there's no dust, dust accumulation or like if it was out in the store, people touching it. So even though it's like brand new, I still wanna wash it just to make sure that it's like clean for us, you know? Like you probably don't need to do it. Definitely something you don't need to do, but it's just personal preference, I guess, if you want to. Oh my God, it comes with black measuring cups. Shut up, that's sick. Oh my God, that's so cute. I already bought a set at Ikea. But you know what? These are black. I kind of like these better. Got a nice bread loaf tin. Banana bread. Gives me banana bread bread. Got a nice brownie tin. No, this is too big for brownies. I don't know. Cupcake trays. Of course. This is a smaller pan. This is actually like, I would say this is a regular size. Like Ikea's was even smaller than this. It was like literally tiny, which is weird. The max size you can get probably. And then a nice cute circle pan. If I get like a frozen pizza or anything, I can make it on this. This is just nice to have. Like I'm trying to think of anything else that we really need for the kitchen. And the only other things I can think of is like we need spice jars. We need to like get all the spices, scissors. And then other than that, I think we have almost everything now. Like I can't think of anything else that we would need in a kitchen that we haven't gotten. But I think we're pretty much almost at 100%. I mean, oh, we need a napkin holder. Oh, a dish soap dispenser. But like, other than that, I think we're doing really good. Like, I don't think there's much else that I can think of that we need. So I'm just gonna wash these now and then find a home for them. Oh, I don't know if I showed you guys this, hold on. But, so I bought a shoe mat to put underneath the sink because I'm just gonna be storing all my cleaners under here. And so I bought a shoe mat just to have everything on it just in case anything leaks so it doesn't damage the wood. So yeah, this is not an actual like kitchen sink mat. This is literally a shoe mat, it's supposed to be for shoes. But I was like, hey, this will totally fit in here. So we got that and then the compost bin fits nicely just on the side here with the garbage can here. So I got my under the sink sorted out. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way that this all fits like really nicely in here. I also don't think I showed you guys this, but I ended up putting the wine glasses and champagne glasses on display on this display thing here. Um, and I want to get one more set of glasses. I don't know what to get yet. That look pretty right here. And then for now, I just put like the pasta thing. I'm going to get like spaghetti noodles to put in there. Um, not sure what to put on top yet. I'm going to probably... I don't know yet honestly i need to think about that probably like some decor piece to put on top there but i really like the look of the glasses because it looks like super clean and sleek under there so i think i'm gonna keep it like that okay so here is how i organized it um these drawers go so far in like as you can see they go all the way down there so i have everything kind of tucked in here like the bigger pans with the bowls here and then back here i have more of the baking stuff like the cupcake sheets and then the bread tin um and then I just put the measuring cups in here but yeah it honestly fits so nicely and there's literally so much storage in here so yeah even with all this in here there's still room to put more shit so the cabinets are so nice and big okay guys so we're at visions right now and we are looking for a tv because joel went online and they said that the tvs were on sale and today was the last day so we're like hey we're gonna need a tv eventually once we get the couch so why not look now and if we like it just buy it because it's on sale it's like $200 off or something which is pretty good um but yeah I'm just trying to get like a, a normal tv like it doesn't have to be anything special I just want a tv we're thinking a 55 inch which is like pretty big but I think it'll be perfect for the wall because the wall is really big there so hopefully we come out with a tv so this is the tv that we got we ended up getting one it was like $600 with tax included pretty much and yeah it was obviously the cheapest best best quality cheapest tv that you can get because we didn't really want to go like full out with the price just because we've been buying so many things and it's just a tv like it's whatever so apparently this one's decent does the job and you won't really notice the difference so 
we're gonna try it out and we also have 15 days to return it just in case we don't like it so we're just gonna try it out and make sure that it's like pretty good and if it is then we're gonna keep it I disassembled it and it's really easy to put together to be honest, so I'm just gonna do it now before I go home tonight because I am going home tonight to sleep over because I'm bringing my dog to the vet in the morning because nobody could do it and he like just had surgery. I just thought I'd do it before I go just to have it done. easier to build than the first time that I did it like I did this like a year ago and I was like struggling a little bit low-key I don't know why I was struggling but anyways we've improved we've become more handy dandy oh anyways I'm glad that's done that literally took me like five minutes I think I'm gonna put it right here um so this drawer set the Alex and I drawer set is not staying like in this spot it's gonna go like the corner push a button like that way i have this really cute princess poly blazer that i've literally never worn before last weekend was my first time going out in so long and so i just haven't really had much chance to wear like my nice stuff i'm not really sure to be honest what i want to put on the clothing rack right now so i'm just gonna leave it the way it is it just has two things on it and i'm just gonna leave it um and we'll like i'll fill it out as i go but but yeah 